Okay, all right, I heard you, I get it. You wanted to know the dependencies, there you go. You wanted to know what's up, there they are, in all of its insane glory. And this should make it really, really easy to be install, uh, to be able to be in to, <laughs> to install my dot files, okay? We're gonna get rid of this, okay? Uh, download, my god. Download the stable branch and extract, copy the dot config folder to your home folder and log out and log in. That's it. That's all there is to it. Now I need to add one more thing micro text and that should be it i don't see any other issues here and i believe that everything that we need is here it is indeed excellent and for those people who still use ndw displays and ng uh w look there you go so we're going to commit these changes and done there you go that's all it takes that's all it is so well how do we do this well it's simple first we're going to go over the current progress because it's been a while as you can see hyperland men hyper menu is not changed at all this is not really changed at all system status and all that stuff is still here and Hopefully should still work. It's hard getting this to constantly work. The NVIDIA drivers, they always work. Uh, minus the VRAM. I don't know what that's about. Uh, but if we go over here and we go into settings, you'll notice that we have wallpaper. And you can see you could just download wallpapers from Bing. Uh, we now have new blur settings. Unfortunately, they look like they're being blocked from view. There should be more settings down here. <clears throat> This allows you to change your logo. Usually there's logos here, but ah, well, give me one second here. This is ridiculous. Something's wrong. Refresh. Thank you. Clear. Go to settings back there. There we go. There's the logos. Wallpaper. Blur settings are back. Okay, great. Now, uh, there's something wrong with this, and I don't know what it is. It, it seems to not want to play nicely, which is unfortunate. But again, I'll fix it up. I usually do. Here is, yeah, we need to make this up higher. This just doesn't work. We need to find a better way to implement all of this. But again, my job right now is to get it working and then to deal with other things later. This is usually this is I have been attempting to build in the ability to set default applications. Uh it detects the applications. So that's something like we do this. I don't know if it's gonna work or not. Let me just try to um open up an image. Yeah, no, it uh currently does not function still, so I still have to get to that, but there it all is. Ooh, we're going to set that, even though it's not going to do anything. This is another thing that I want to get working. As you can see, we are currently uh, dealing with that bug again. It takes so long to go away. Notifications should not last that long. There we go. This is currently not working on Arch Linux or Fedora, but I'm going to fix it here soon. Render settings. Usually this will show up when you have HDR compatible monitors. And uh, all of this does work, by the way. Time and date, keyboard, regions, and users, which is nice. You can see there I am and everything. And it even has its own, uh, you know, pull kit stuff where we can change stuff. I do, again, have to clean it all up. I know. Well, there you go. It's super simple, <clears throat> super simplistic. Your uh, where you are will automatically 
be detected, of course, and I do need to change this to add night mode for this. I don't know how I'm going to pull that off. But yeah, it, it everything should work okay for the most part. This still works. That still functions. Now, let's begin with the setup. All right, first thing, you want to go to here, you want to click Stable. Stable is going to detail everything you need to do. Ignore this, it doesn't work. I'm going to replace it here today. So you're going to need the yay. That's the first and foremost thing that you're going to need to install. Or you're going to need something like Paru. That's up to you. You can grab that on yay's GitHub or Paru's GitHub. I'm sure they have a bin that you can install. Uh, but these dependencies here, you can install without an issue. Just copy here and then paste into terminal. So like this. Just like that. Hit enter. And that's it. Okay. I already have them installed. I don't need to install them again. All right. And we're going to close out all other tabs. Thank you. Now, when you, this is for yay. And again, if we just go search yay. Okay. GitHub, click the first link. We go down. As you can see, there's a binary. You copy this and you paste this in here, like that. That will grab the uh, the a uh, AUR helper. It will install it, and then afterwards, all you got to do is copy this into the terminal. Not that this into the terminal, and it will automatically install things for you. That's the cool part, okay? Uh, and I use Yay myself. That's why I recommend it. Uh, yay. Let's just do this. That will make it life really easy. Done. So now you can just grab Yay. Then you can grab the dependencies from the AUR, you can grab the dependencies for Arch, and you're good to go. Now, Fedora is a little bit more tricky, and I'm going to try to add that right now. Uh, let me see. I believe I have it in here, and I have it in Nabora. Uh, a folder called Nabora. Do I not have the folder no more? Nabora Hyperlink. There it is. So, there we go. Um, we need to add this. Okay, so we're going to go here. And I'm going to paste this and go. I'm going to copy this. Then I'm going to head here. And I'm going to do an edit. I usually don't do this stuff, you know. Uh, arch steps. Done. Okay. Now we're going to go down here. I'm going to do Fedora Depths. And I'm going to just. I don't know how the hell that ended up up there, but it did. And we're going to paste that in there. I can't see it. Why can I not see it? What is it doing? Okay, well, sudo. Great. Enable these repos. Okay. And uh, where's the second repo? There it is. We're going to go copy here and I'm going to just uh, paste and go. And we're going to, of course, copy this if we can one day. And now I hope you all appreciate this because I don't want to offer any support to these because they're not done. And people don't seem to understand or respect that answer. And it's kind of unfortunate because, you know, that's just the way things are. Like, I don't want to give you a broken product, but I would love some help on, you know, uh, having it work, that'd be great. If anybody wants to join me in the development, jump in the Discord, let's have a chat. I would love that.
you know what? Yeah. Let's just do this. All right. So all the way here. Great. We're just going to go and put this here. Just like that. And did I already add a hyper pool kit? There they are. And I want to actually add this as well to the end of this list. Boom. Commit changes. Done. So there you go. Fedora. And Nabora, of course. And then there's the dependencies to make it work. Uh, there's other ones. <clears throat> but they're a bit uh, difficult to install. Like the major one that you need for Fedora is the material fonts. And I don't really know how to pull that one off. Which is a problem because it's right here, I believe. It's right here at the end. Oh, it's right here at the end. Yeah, it's this one. This is the main problem for Fedora. Google. This is the one we need. And I don't know if it's on Fedora or not. Let's see what this says. No, oh, so that's all you got to do. <clears throat> uh, but I just, uh, like here they are. Look, there it is. There's the AUR package, and this is what it downloads. I don't know what to do, though. Yeah. Hmm. Added variable suffix, notice to, it's in the font package guidelines. Okay. Let me try to come up with something real quick, okay? Okay. Guess what? It's finished. That's right. It's done. Um. I have done some things in my life which have been kind of nice and uh, this was one of them. So what we're going to do is we're going to copy that. We're going to go back in here and I'm going to replace this right here with the new one. Just like that. And it's done. Okay, it changes. That is the new uh installer that is the new script okay now again i'll not offer any support for this because again this is built for me and me only but i have added enough that it should work so if you install this it will install yay it will install the yay dependencies the pacman dependencies then it will copy the dot config file this guy right here over into your home folder okay if you use the install script for fedora i did i make it enable the repos one second please yes it does actually enable the repos for fedora so it will enable the repos then it will install the dependencies it will install the fedora material icons it will also install the extended icons and that is it. Then it will install the .config file. Now, this does need testing. Okay? This does need testing. So, guess what I'm enabling? I am enabling issues again. So now, you guys should be able to leave an issue and a comment and whatever else you want. I'll take a look every now and again to see what's up. But there you go. Now you have an install guide. I guess, an install script that should work. Uh, test it in a VM beforehand. Leave a feedback. Do whatever needs to be done. I'll see you guys in the next video. Thank you for watching.